Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss type 1 and type 2 report. Now before we discuss type 1 and type 2 report, we have to go back and review what we did in the prior session because type 1 and type 2 report are part of the SOC report. And under SOC, we have three different SOCs. We have SOC 1, SOC 2, SOC 3. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to fill in the gaps, but I want to make sure you understand that you have to understand what SOC 1 versus SOC 2 versus SOC 3. So in this session, under SOC 1, we're going to have type 1. We're going to have type 2. Under SOC 2, we're going to have type 1, and we're going to have type 2. And under SOC 3, we're going to have type, I know what you're going to be saying, type 1 and type 2, we're going to have only type 2. So this is what we will be discussing in this session. But before we discuss these types, I want to make sure I go over the what's SOC 1, what's SOC 2 really br briefly. And at the end, we'll get to know what's type 1. So we have type 1, SOC 1, type 2, SOC 1. We have type 1, SOC 2, type 2, SOC 2, and only type 2, SOC 3. Don't worry, we're going to explain this. I'm just giving you a map. So let's go back and real quick review what's SOC 1. This is a review. SOC 1 is the focus is the internal control over financial reporting. It's intended usually for three parties, the management of the service organization, the user's entity, the company that's using the service and their auditors. Uh, what's included? Detailed description of controls, tests and results specific to the financial reporting. The purpose of it is to provide assurance on the effectiveness of the controls over financial reporting. That's the overview of SOC 1. SOC 2 deals with security, availability, processing, integrity, confidentiality, and privacy. Those are the trust service criteria, in contrast to the internal control over financial reporting. So basically, when it comes to SOC 2, we're dealing with a different, with a different focus. Who are the users? Users with sufficient knowledge of the system, such as management, oversight parties, or regulators. Remember those, they have to be expert. We give them SOC 2 report. Uh, what does what would it contain? Detailed description of the system controls, tests of controls and results. The purpose to provide details on assurance and operation and compliance control according to specific criteria. Then we have SOC 3. SOC 3 is the same as SOC 2, deals with the trust service criteria. The audience, the intended audience is different. It's the general public or, or other stakeholders without the need for detailed technical technical understanding. Content of the report, a general report without detailed system description or test results. The purpose is to provide general assurance on the control related to security, privacy, etc. suitable for the general public wide distribution. So understand we have SOC 1, SOC 2, SOC 3. Now under these SOCs we're going to have SOC 1 type 1, SOC 1 type 2, so on and so forth. This is what we will discuss in this session. Everything that I did is a review plus kind of inputting type 1, type 2 under the appropriate category. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. So let's talk about type 1 SOC report. What would type 1 SOC report? So this is type 1. So we could have type 1, remember, under, you remember we have SOC 1, and under SOC 1 we could have type 1, and we could have SOC 2, and under SOC 2 we could have type 1. So what would generally a type 1 report include? Now, depending what we are discussing, it's going to discuss the fairness of presentation. It checks if the management description of the organization system is accurate and complete as of a specific date. So the first thing you want to know is type 1 deals with is a snapshot, specific date. Think from a financial accounting perspective. Think of the balance sheet. Remember, the balance sheet is as, as a specific date. Type 1 report is 
is as of a specific date and it checks if management description is accurate and complete basically talks about the description it also talks about the design of control it examines whether the control designed by the organization are suitable to meet the intended control objective outlined in the management system description so we looked at the description like basically somebody gave you a narrative of the description and let's assume to be a little bit more specific we're using SOC 1 so if we're looking at the description of SOC 1 what are we looking at we're looking at description of internal control over financial reporting so we're going to talk about the description and we are going to talk about the design of the description so we look at the description and we want to know if the description is suitable to meet the intended control objective outline in the management system description we look we look at the description then we look at the design of the description again this report is a snapshot of the organization of the organization system and control at a given point in time confirming that control are appropriately designed to achieve their objective so this is what a type one now if we're talking about SOC 2 what are we talking about SOC 2 type 1 about the trust criteria services so we're looking at the trust criteria services same thing description of those and are they is the design of their control is accurate for example security confidentiality privacy integrity of processing transactions so this is what type 1 is so you could have type 1 SOC 1 type 1 SOC 2 now let's take a look at type 2 report what would type 2 report include well, type two would report would include everything that you saw in type one. And notice here, I, I have point one, fairness of the presentation and the design of the control. We'll have those two plus a third aspect. And that's the operating effectiveness of IC over financial reporting. If we're looking at internal control over financial reporting, if we're looking at what? If we're looking at SOC one, or trust services criteria of trust services if we are looking at a SOC 2 so in addition to point one and point two it would look at the operating effectiveness it assesses whether the control not only suitably designed because in point two we looked at the design but also function effectively over a designated period of time so remember here it's at over a period of time not point in time so the operating effectiveness would need time you you will need to test this you want to make sure it's working so here you're testing the operating effectiveness of the claim that you are making in point one and point two so this report provide a more dynamic evaluation so in showing how well the controls work over time not as a point in time not just whether they are correctly designed or the description is proper so notice in type two you're going above and beyond and remember I'm gonna put this again we have SOC 1 we could have type 1 and we talked about type 1 type 1 will be point 1 and point 2 and we will have type 2 which is point 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is the effectiveness operating effectiveness again we could have a SOC 2 and under SOC 2 we could have type 1 report and we could have type Two. type 1 would include everything in type 1 which is point 1 plus point 2 plus point 3 which is the operating effectiveness of those trust services just to review one more time type 1 is a point in time type 2 is a period of time now I keep repeating this because those are you could see those silly questions on the CPA exam because the information systems and control test you on basic knowledge remembering and understanding and you want to know this now let's take a look about SOC 1 and SOC 2 together they can be issued in two format again type 1 assess the suitability of the design of the control at a specific point in time type 2 evaluate both the design and the operating effectiveness you're looking to see if things are working properly over a period of time so obviously type 2 is more involved it gives you more insurance type 1 is telling you this is what it looks like and this is what the design looks like type 2 you're testing the design you're testing the operating effectiveness and these report cater to different needs for example SOC 1 focuses on service organization that may impact the entity's user internal control over financial reporting this is what I mentioned earlier so SOC 1 deals with internal control over financial reporting so we have type 1 and type 2 and under type 2 what's type 2 type 1 
plus testing the operating effectiveness. SOC 2 is concerned with control relevant to security, availability, processing integrity, confidentiality, and privacy. The AICPA trust criteria. Now, again, here we have test type 1 and we have type 2, which is type 1 plus the operating effectiveness of everything you are claiming in type 1. So the choice between type 1 and type 2 and SOC 1 and SOC 2 depend on whether stakeholders need to understand the control design at a point in time, type 1, or want assurance on how control operate over a specific period. So if you're looking just to know, I just want to look at your, at your design at your control, whether it, whether that control over financial reporting or control over the trust criteria services. If, if I just want to look at designs, you want to take a look at it, you would ask for type one. If you want assurance that those designs, the description of your internal control, the description of the trust services are working properly, you would ask for type two. Type two, then the auditor will have to issue a report after conducting an actual audit, which we'll see later on uh, as we learn about this. Now we neglected SOC 3. SOC 3, unlike SOC 1 and SOC 2, SOC 3 is always type 2 report. They don't have type 1. It means it, evaluate of, it, it evaluates the effectiveness of control over a period of time. So similar to SOC 2, type 2. You, you don't have type 1 because in that report you're going to have the information. So when you have type 2, you have type 1, but you don't issue a SOC 3 type 1. We don't have... We don't have SOC 3 type 1. The key difference is SOC 3 reports are designed for a broader audience and less detailed than SOC 2 report. So they provide a general overview of the system control without specific test result and detailed description, general description, typically included in SOC 1 and SOC 2 report. So SOC 3 reports are often used for public dissemination such as posting on a service organization website to build trust with clients and the general public. So some some websites they do include SOC 3 reports on their website if you're interested in you know uh, how do they handle their privacy confidentiality all this good stuff. Let's take a look at an example let's assume health Secure Inc., a health insurance provider, relies on a third-party provider called CloudMed Tech to manage and secure its policyholder's data. So they manage their policyholder in the cloud. Given the sensitive nature of medical information, it's crucial that Health Secure make sure that CloudMed Tech maintain stringent data security and privacy control. Let's stop right here. Are we looking at, first of all, are we looking at SOC 1 or are we looking at a SOC 2 report here? or maybe SOC 3, but at least let's see if it's SOC 1 or SOC 2. SOC 2. SOC 2 deals with data security and privacy, not SOC 1. SOC 1 deals with information, internal control over financial reporting. So we're dealing with SOC 2. So health secure auditors need to verify that cloud mat controls around the confidentiality and security are not, are not only properly designed, yes, I mean, you can tell me they're properly designed, but I want to make sure they're consistently applied and effective over time. So to do this, what, do, what would I ask for? I would ask for a SOC 2 type 2. So I'm going to ask not only for SOC 2, SOC 2 type 2. This is what the auditor is looking for if they want to know the design and the effectiveness. If they only want to know the design, they would ask for type 1. So here to do this, they would seek a SOC 2 type 2 report from this CloudMath company. And this report would provide an assessment of the cloud med tech controls related to security, confidentiality, and privacy over a period of time, typically a year. By reviewing this report, the auditor can have assurance that, that the necessary control ha have been operating effectively to protect sensitive policyholder data, thereby mitigating the risk of data breaches and compliance. Now, we assume here that our auditor, who is knowledgeable, understand everything that they're going to tell them. That's why they're giving them a SOC 2 type 2. Now, I'm going to go a step further to kind of illustrate where would SOC 3 be issued. For example, let's assume this cloud mad tech, they want to kind of tell everyone that they have a good system. That, you know, if you put your information with them, if you, if you, if you park your data in their cloud, you're secure. What they do, they will issue a SOC 3, they will post it on their website. If you're interested in learning about their business, they will show you SOC 3, which will be less detailed, less descriptive but nevertheless making the point that they have a good system operating effectively. Let's review real quick um, type 1 versus type 2 report. Uh, type 1 is a specific date, type 2 over a period of time. Type 1, 
detailed description of the system such as the design and implemented at a specific time again detailed description of the system as designed and implemented over a specific period not point in time this is this is we said point in time this is point in time this is period so they both give the description but this is for a period of time type 2 now um, management assertion what's the management saying management assertion that the description fairly present that the designed and implemented system and controls were suitably designed to achieve the control objective this is type 1 report just basically the management saying this is the design design is working properly that's it but they don't test it if we look at type 2 they assert the same thing they assert the same thing and they add one more one more thing and that's one more thing is is huge but it's one more thing and operated effectively so it's not only designed it's designed properly and suitable it's operating effectively to to achieve control objective to achieve control objective what whether, whether that we're talking about uh, SOC 1 which is again I keep repeating this which is fine repetition is needed if you want to memorize something SOC 1 deals with internal control over financial reporting SOC 2 deals with trust services which we're going to be talking about those in the next recording now obviously I did not mention but we're going to talk about this later on the 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 type 1 will have an audit report to provide an opinion on the fairness of the system presentation and suitability that's it type 2 will provide an opinion on the fairness of the system presentation and suitability and again I'm gonna highlight what's what they're gonna work on operating effectiveness operating effectiveness that's what's special about type 2 report let's take a look at this multiple choice question from farhatlectures.com if a company requires verification that the controls at its third-party IT service providers are designed appropriately to manage data confidentiality and the operate and are operating effectively as of the last annual review which report would they request so let's talk about this first they are asking for its IT its data confidentiality specifically data confidentiality so data confidentiality deal with deals with what deals with trust services trust services don't deal with SOC 1 so SOC 1 is out now we're between SOC 2 and SOC 3 because both SOC 2 and SOC 3 deals with trust services are we looking at type 1 report are we looking at SOC 2 type 2 report or are we looking for SOC 3 type 2 report so now we need to know who's re who's requesting the report okay so the company required verification that the control of its third party is doing a good job with data confidentiality so they want to know for themselves uh, they're not looking to assure the public they want to know if they're not looking to assure the public they're gonna ask for a SOC 2 type 2 report why because SOC 2 type 2 report is giving to the user entity because they want to verify that the control at the third-party IT services providers are designed properly to manage confidentiality and operating effectively operating effectively will put you undo type 2 report so that's why otherwise if if this third party they may, they may want to issue a SOC 2 type 2 report to for the public that's a different story but if a company wants to assure themselves that the service organization is doing a good job they will ask for SOC 2 type 2 and a good job about what data confidentiality what should you do now you want to go to Farhat lectures look at additional MCQs that's going to help you whether you're studying for your CPA exam taking accounting courses studying for any professional certification invest in yourself good luck study hard and of course stay safe